Hi, I'm Sean Swander with Swander Photography, and today we're going to look at a retouch that I do to almost every picture, and that is enlarging the eyes. And I don't mean by a lot, just a little bit of enlargement, though, can make a big difference on, on the overall picture. Once you've done a lot of little small things, they add up to a big effect overall. And uh, my goal isn't to make big changes that people notice and the f picture looks photoshopped. I want subtle changes that... Uh, you know, it makes the picture look natural, but the person looks a little more like what you see when you talk to someone. You don't notice all their flaws. You just, um, more like what you remember when you, when you would meet a person face to face. So, uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. And so this is, uh, my wife. She let me take this picture in our living room real quick before I came over to make this video. And, um, so hopefully she's happy with this photo. But uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, take the lasso tool and we're just gonna draw a circle around her eyes, in, underneath her eye um, eyebrow and connect it like that. And I do one eye at a time. So to make a copy of that, you'll hit Control and press J or um, Command J on a Mac. And that's going to have another layer. And I always duplicate my base layer. Um, I think it's just good practice to have a copy of that bottom layer. So I have two copies of the bottom layer. And then this top layer is just her one eye. So if I were to take these two away, you'd see just her eye. Okay. And so then you hit Control and T or Command T on an apple. And go to height. And I'm going to just add 5%. So it says 100. I'm going to add, make it say 105. And the width, 105 and it makes it just a little bit bigger and then I'm going to commit these changes and it's going to make kind of a rough edge there and a lot of people have different ways of doing this. You can add a mask um, by hitting the mask button right here and just paint in black around the edges that, that just to soften those edges up a little bit. So I'll take a softer brush here and that's way too small. So. Just come right along the edges, look for the harder parts of the where it's not blending quite so well, and go like that. And you got one eye done. Now you could just do um, both eyes and then and then go ahead and brush them at once. But since I did this, we'll, we'll just I'll go ahead and do one more eye just to show you um, how quick this fix is, and and it makes a slight difference. And I'll show you before and after. So I'll take a lasso of that eye. Make another layer, control T, go up to height, 105, width 105, and it's bigger. Commit the changes and make sure her if, if her eye were um you know a little off or something, you'd notice. So make sure you align it up just right and we'll hit mask. You can also just use the eraser if you want to save even more time. But uh, we'll just be consistent. This is good practice to use masks because it is non-destructive. Okay. And that is both eyes. We'll, we'll combine them and combine the masks by hitting Control E or Command E on a Mac. And it didn't work. Oh, it's because I'm not, I'm hiding one of the layers. Okay. Control E. And it asked if I want to um, combine the masks and I just went ahead and hit apply so there is no mask there it, it just took away everything that wasn't masked so now what you can see here is the after and when I take that away the before and it's very subtle but uh, as you see we'll do a lot of videos on, on uh, how to change the eyes so when you add all these specs together you're gonna get a big change